This is the Paperless Prosecutor OneNote and One Minute training series. How is a Microsoft OneNote notebook organized? I'm going to use my 2016 high school mock trial notebook here to describe how OneNote is organized on your computer. It starts, of course, with the notebook. That's this open notebook here, mock trial 2016. Notebooks are collections of sections, section groups, and pages that contain all of the information that you want to keep together. So in this case, all of my Mock Trial 2016 information is in the notebook. Next, you see two tabs. These tabs, which resemble the folder tabs in a paper notebook, are what OneNote calls sections. Next to that, you have section groups. These are groups of these section tabs. You can create as many section groups and section tabs as you'd like to create a very detailed notebook. And finally, you have the pages. Each section tab can have as many pages as you like, and each page can scroll as far vertically and horizontally as you need to contain the information. Let me show you an example in the case notebook for this year's mock trial. We go here to the prosecution witness statement tab within that case notebook section group. You'll find the four witnesses from the 2016 mock trial. Here you see a lot of my detailed notes on this. Thankfully, the competition starts this week, so I hopefully won't be giving anything away. You can see here that I've highlighted, took notes and handwriting, made all kinds of modifications to this page to demonstrate that it can scroll over the side, scroll vertically as far as I want. Now, what you see here is an actual printed out copy of the statement. That's because these pages can contain basically any type of file or digital media that you can think to put in here. Pages are the heart and soul of OneNote that you can organize by putting those pages within these sections, putting those sections within section groups. And that's basically how you organize a OneNote notebook.